Hey guys, for this video, I want to show you this Dash Mini Waffle Maker that I recently picked up on Amazon. What I really liked about this thing is how small it is. The last thing I need in my kitchen is a big bulky appliance that's just going to take up countertop space. I don't have the room to spare. So this is only 4 inches wide, makes a 4 inch waffle, and 6 inches this way. So nice and compact and something I could probably even put in a drawer when I'm not using it. And it only uses 350 watts of power. I saw people saying that they were able to make a waffle with this in about 5 minutes. So that's really cool. The power cord on it is 34 inches. I want to get it plugged in so uh, we can see how fast it heats up. There's going to be an LED light that pops up. Well, I don't know if it's an LED, but there's a light that's going to pop up uh, on the front here when I plug it in. So you can see it's... Kind of hard to see with my lights on, but there's a little light right there. That light's going to go off when it gets up to its temperature. And with the package, you also get a little recipe booklet that's in the back of the instruction manuals. We have classic waffles. We got a pizza word, I don't know. We got paleo waffles. We got banana bread waffles. We got chocolate taco waffles and more recipe ideas it even said you can make pizza in this thing it said you can make cookies hash browns one line i saw they said any kind of batter will waffle so you can make all sorts of things i guess with it also this comes in a variety of colors and even shapes for your waffles now this is going to slow down the heating up time but i'm going to go ahead and open it up so you can see what it looks like in here it does say in the instructions to make sure to use a cooking spray when you're making your waffle. And in a previous life, I worked at a hotel that had one of those jumbo size or full size waffle makers. And I couldn't tell you how many times people didn't spray it. And then it spent, they spent 20 minutes with a little plastic fork trying to dig their waffle out of the waffle maker. So definitely spray it before each use, both the bottom and the top plate because both of them get hot. And see you really don't want to touch this when it's plugged in but the light is still on there I also had this thermal imager I thought would be fun to play with and look at this thing so here is the thermal image of our waffle maker looks like it's getting up to about 300 degrees right now you can see the cold spot right in the middle where the handle is right there also I don't know if I can get my camera up here But it's colder in the back than it is in the front. So I'm guessing the heating element maybe is originating from the front of the waffle maker. Now if we open it up. Check it out there. You can see pretty evenly heated actually. A little bit cooler around the edges. But it's even throughout the plates which is good to see. And you can tell the light is off. We are all ready to make waffles or hash browns or cookies or pizza or whatever we want to make. So that was pretty cool. Thanks for watching.